Hi guys, welcome to Beer Consulting Pro and in this video I'm gonna help you to find an answer for a problem where a user selects two months and then he wants to populate both months data differently. For example, now I'm on a Power BI community over here, one user has indicated that he has this problem. Basically, he has some of the data over here and ideally this data is not in the right format. If you say date, then there should be a particular date rather than year month. But we are not going to go into this one. Let's consider this is a sample data over here and the user wants the output like when he selects two months, first and second, the data should populate separately over there. So if you are also interested in this kind of challenge or the issue that you are facing while you are working, then this video is for you. If you are coming over here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also share with your friends and colleagues. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and content, where we are going to provide you all the different solutions and updates related to Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Now, without wasting any more time, let's head over to my Power BI desktop. Now, what I did over here, first of all, I needed the sample data. But before even going that, guys, if you are creating any solution related to time intelligence or date time or the trends, I strongly advise you to create a calendar table or a date table. And also you should have the dates inside your fact table so that you can make a relationship over there. However, I couldn't make that relationship, but I have created a calendar table. You can also use this PBX file. You can find the link in the description section and you can do that. Otherwise, you can also search over the internet how to do that. We have also created several videos on that. Now, let's talk about the sample data. I'm not creating any relationship over here. I'm just going to use this because this table doesn't have really the right format of the dates. The sample data is over here, which I have created or replicated from the same post over here that user has mentioned. So we are going to use the same. Here, we have the year month column value and all the different colors over here and also some of the sample data. In this kind of issue when you would think about it you would find that okay whenever user is selecting any particular month that should get selected over there right so how to capture the user selection for that we use selected value tags now another logic to solve this problem is that whenever user is saying i'm selecting month and all the corresponding values should appear then definitely this should for example i select the june month so in the june the value should be 78 percent or 0.78 you can also say that then for sample 2, some of the values should appear and sample 3 values should appear, right? Then next column should be the other one. For this, you can create a measure and the measure is first going to check the month, then it's going to bring all the values related to that month, the same for the corresponding month. So what I did over here, if I'll come here, first I created one this month value, that function, which you can see over here. So let me try to zoom if you can see that. Yes, I think this is good enough. So here I'm calculating month value. First, I created one variable, selected month. As I said, I need to use selected dex function, all selected over here, which I'm using. So here I'm capturing first the month over here, and then I'm using it to compare with the year month column. And corresponding to that, I'm bringing the values over here, right? So that's how you have to do it. Secondly, you have to also do the same for the another month, and that's we are capturing using max x so first mean x then another would be max x and that's how you're going to get these two months and always as per user requirement there should be selection of two months so as soon as you have this data i'm now removing this month so this is going to be your data when you selected any two months but right now there's no value over here right if you are going to bring this year month column over here then you would find that all the table value is populating here now we don't want year month over here rather than that what we really need we need two separate months so for example if i select this one and this one then my two months should appear here separately for that i have already selected or created these two measures and that you can bring over here and you are going to get all the values i hope this video is going to be very useful guys if you are dealing with this kind of challenges in case you think the solution needs more improvement or anything else you have any feedback please feel free to let us know we are always here to hear your feedback and based on that we can provide you solutions we all learn we learn from you you learn from us and that's how we grow our knowledge base i hope you like this video if you have any question and concern please do let us know in the comment section also if you're looking for any training program or consulting services you can contact us at connect at
Please do share this video with your friends and colleagues if you like it and also stay updated with our latest videos. I'm going to see you soon in our next video. Take care and keep exploring the world of data.